Berlin. <laughs> Berlin is one of the great gay cities of the world, surely. Is it? Is it? One of the great repressed <laughs> gay cities. Yeah. It always well, has there you been. Go. <laughs> so, maybe another question about Candy on the right. Hi, uh, Sean Rubenstein Dunlop here from the uh, ABC in Australia. Um, I've got uh, two questions for Heath and Abby. Firstly, what was it like working with uh, one of the best theatre directors in Australia and how did his uh, approach to, to filmmaking compare to um, more established filmmakers that you've worked with um, and uh, to the actors as well? Uh, were there any sort of particular Australian, particularly Australian aspects or or themes to the story that you think uh, Aussies can identify with. And to the producers, uh, the uh, Film Finance Commission in Australia uh, seems to be just about fresh out of dough for this uh, financial year. Um, is that bad organisation? Um, I'll start. Um, it was really interesting working with Neil. Neil definitely had a different approach to things. Um, what I liked most about Neil is he's extremely specific and I don't know if that's just you Neil or whether that comes from the theatre but um, he has very specific ideas about things and that uh, ranges from uh, you know a personality trait of a character right down to the pasta bake that's sitting on the table you know and I found that really interesting as an actor to work with and it was different for me because I guess I work looser than that and so I enjoyed that when I worked with Neil. I enjoyed his attention to de detail. And yeah, we had, a, we had a good time, I think, you know. And it was, uh, I think Neil definitely challenged me. I remember um, when we first started in rehearsals, Neil said to me that candy is fire and air. And those two, so simple, but those two words almost you know, was the bulk of, of, of what I based Candy on. It was almost everything to me because she is fire and she is air. And if you put those two together, the imagery that you get is Candy. Um, so that was a, a huge building block in my process to building Candy and that was Neil's idea. Um, what was that? There was a second part, wasn't there? Australian aspects. Well, I thought Heath was d did a pretty damn good job of being like a, an, an Australian Westy sort of, you know, Sydney Sydney born guy. I remember that the scene where he walks into the the toilets to when he's thinking about um, male prostitution and he walks into the toilets. You know, I the image of him in that the cap and the the hoodie. I thought that was terribly Australian. No, um, you know, I just. Yeah, I don't know, but I, d I think when everyone made this film, we didn't we didn't want to specify an anything in particular. You know, we didn't want to choose an era or time. I know Margaret wanted the film to almost be timeless. You know, we we weren't like, okay, it's the year two thousand and three. What's in fashion right now? Um, Margaret has an amazing sense of fashion and an uh, amazing sense of time, and so we wanted it to be universal. We wanted it to to go on and live live on. Uh, so I think I think it did achieve that, yeah. Um, fuck, what was the first question again? What was it like working with oh, the yes, with director? You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, it, it was obviously it was wonderful experience working with Neil. I, I I don't think there was um I don't think there's a difference between Neil and film directors. Neil's a, a, an incredibly uh, well achieved. Um, Director, he's, he's the same. Um, but there is no one kind of director. I, 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 every director is so diverse, and thank God, because if it wasn't, it would be really boring. Um, and the fact that directors are diverse, it, it kind of um, it inspires actors to be more flexible, because we have to kind of adapt. Um, and that, that's what makes it exciting. But um, we, did, we did fight a bit about rehearsal. Which yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, creative, creative I, I did conflict. try to drag it off the stage a little bit <laughs> a few times. But but it wasn't a fight ever. Like we don't have egos that that got in the way. It was it was purely were creative arguments and um, and it was necessary. And uh, we when you can when you can stand up with someone that you're working with and speak your mind and yeah. speak it quite openly. That's that's the best working environment that you can possibly create. Even when you are disagreeing. Yeah. Uh, because that that's that's when you're challenging yeah. yourself and other people. Yeah. Yeah, what, what I learned working with Heath and Abby was uh, that the lead in a film has so much responsibility for their own performance. And 
I would try and, and like would, would kind of push uh, or lead or coax uh, Heath and Abby. Uh, often I thought, oh no, we're not, we're not sort of seeing the expressiveness in the, in the room enough uh, in a way that, uh, you know, as a, as a theatre director, you look for what that communication in the air is. And, um, and I learned so much from these two guys about, um, you know, they had their own, they had their own truths kind of ticking away. And it, it's something that hit me like a thunderbolt, lightning bolt, um, and a thunderclap in, uh, in the edit of, of just seeing the architecture of, these, of, of their performances. Um, you know, all sort of fitting into place, and that's that's an extraordinary gift for uh, a great for two great film actors to to have and to give to me. Okay, Emil was uh, uh, should answer that question. I don't about know if anyone here is really that interested in the film finance corporation's workings, but uh, sure, they have um, they've definitely changed their their process for next year so that the money is given out a bit more evenly across the year. Okay, they helped us though. I'm very yeah. sorry, we are re really running out of time, so there's another last question, please, a short question, hopefully. On the right, somewhere? Yeah, where, are you? where are you? I'm here. <laughs> okay. Just hold on a minute. <laughs> um. This is the moment where my cassette is running out. Okay. Martin Jessenberg, Berlin Radio. Um, this is a question for Heath. Um, I had a look on your webpage, and uh, I found a link for the Mac uh, Poverty History Campaign. And my question is, um, in which way are you personally involved in that campaign? And second one, um, do you have other charity projects that you support? And uh, if so, why do you do that? Wait, um, what, was, what was the first question? The first one was, uh, on your, the official web page of, your, you ha uh, of yours, you have a web link for the make, uh, Poverty History campaign with the white wristbands, you know? I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Don't know I, I haven't. Uh, someone set that up or something for. Yeah, I, I never created the web page. I, I, I haven't actually What's seen it, so one? I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know what, what it is. Well, it's I great that you're an advocate for Thank it. You. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. What is it? The okay. poverty. Make poverty history. Our poverty misery. Campaign. History. Oh, yeah. look, misery. misery. Oh, I don't know. No, I, not misery. No, I, I, I it's it maybe. Make poverty history. Oh, make poverty history. Oh right. Um, that's not my campaign, but I, I'm. Um, I look. I, I I've I've been a part of quite a few campaigns, but I like. Uh, I I'm actually proud about. It. I actually physically go out and do things. Like whenever I'm back in Perth, I go visit. I don't know why. I, I just do. It's a very humbling. But uh, I go visit all the cancer children in uh, um, in the hospital that I was born in in Subiaco, and um, and so I've done a lot for them and that hospital. Um, but there are other things uh, that, that, I c that I have contributed to, uh, but, uh, but I, I feel silly just talking about the money that I've donated. I, I don't feel like you've really done anything until you go out and hand feed the world. And unfortunately, I haven't had as much time as I'd like to do that yet, um, other than visiting children that are very, very sick. Um, you know. But I plan to. I, I, I don't believe one person or an actor can save the world. And I, l I know a lot of actors try to. Um, but I'd like to do my part uh, at some point. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, but this is it was. Thank you.